Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got the American League Championship Series on the show. It's the Los Angeles Angels going up against the Kansas City Royals. Alongside Chris Singleton, I'm John Shelby. Plenty of storylines taking shape in this series as we set the stage for game four, Chris. Well, if the first three games are any indication, this has the look of a series that'll go all the way to game seven, Boog. I think this is a classic matchup, and we've seen momentum change course a few times already. But I'll tell you what, I think whoever takes this one will be feeling really good about their chances the rest of the way. Yeah, that's a good point. We've seen it before. Even when you're down 2-1, it seems like a win in game four can propel you to a series win more often than not. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. Two outs, nobody on. And the batter now, Michelle Guzman. She has, as they like to say. Let me guess, Boo. Light tower power? That's right. Singing, even casual fans have heard this player's name. Of course, she's the rare major leaguer who both pitches and hits. I mean, you're talking about a rarity both historically and in the modern game. Yeah, and you don't have to be Babe Ruth or Shohei Otani for this to be impressive. She's proved her tremendous talent by taking the two-way role this far. That one ripped. Oh, you are a star, aren't you? She flexes her power with that swing. That's her fifth homer of the series. And they jump out front. It's 1-0. That's her third straight game with a homer, Singy. This player is on fire, boo. These kinds of streaks just don't come around too often. She came out of her shoes on that one, but managed to keep her mechanics intact long enough to get to the ball and through it, and it went a long way. Add to the plate for Kansas City, number 11. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. The pitch. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play, can throw from so many different angles, and makes really tough plays look very easy. Right-hander kicks, deals. Bounce to the left side. Tosses to first. One up, one down. Batting second, the designated hitter, Nolan. Nolan Shonowell steps in for the Royals. Taken high in the draft, he's had that top prospect labeled over him since he put on a professional uniform, but at some point that starts to go away and you've got to produce at the big league level. Shonowell, a former All-Star, 23 years old, and they traded for him earlier this year. And a foul ball. Cuts and misses, it's a strikeout. He's locked in at the plate when he's using the whole field. That he's out good. in front there, just That's needs to let the ball foul. travel a little more, and his timing will be back on track. Good pitch for the strikeout. Now here's Bobby Witt Jr. And the pitch is in for a strike, and it's 0-1. The Royals down by a run here in game four. And a swing and a miss. She's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Swing and a miss struck him out. Nothing doing for the offense that time. Second inning coming up here in Kansas City. It's the Angels one and the Royals nothing. 
Back here at Kauffman Stadium, bottom of the inning to the batter now, Vinny Pasquantino. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. And that one fouled off. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. And a pitch. Hot shot to third. Chapman over to first in time. That's one out the bottom That's of the second. Good. The catcher. Ready. For me. So up now for Kansas City. Freddie for me. There's a strike. In the postseason, you see just how important every last play can be. You never know what's going to make the difference in the end. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Uh, like you said, Boog, every play is so pivotal at this point of the year. As a player, you've got to be locked in. Can't make a mistake that could cost your team the season. One down, base is empty. That one gets down for a hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his that bat is stays in the zone the on base. plane for an extended Don't period be. of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Cody Clemens batting with one down takes a strike. Fouled off. He was late. Andy 2 gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a pitch. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Took that screwball up there and got him to swing through it. It's kind of part changeup, part curveball, a reverse curveball, I guess. And clearly it's got some good movement on it. We just don't get to see a good one very often, so it's kind of fun to see. And that was a great one right there. And next up for the Royals, TJ Friedel. Right down the shoot, it's 0-1. Here it comes. Bounding ball here. Rolls foul. And a pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that is that. So one hit is all they get. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Angels one and the Royals nothing. Now batting, designated hitter, Michelle Guzman. Swung on, and there it goes. It is high. It is far. It is gone. Touchdown! A gigantic blast. 
Her second home run of the game. And they boost their lead. It's 4-0. Looks like this hitter was looking out over the plate, but she was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch, absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. And we're back. Way Set for the bottom Robert of the third. Forward. And to the plate for no Kansas City, Tyler Gentry. Tyler. Gentry. to kick the pitch swing and a miss on one Righty delivers. Close, but called a ball. And it's one and two. And the right hander deals. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Zips it across. One gone, bottom of the third inning. Batting nine, the right fielder. So up now for Kansas City, Nelson Velasquez. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. The wind of the pitch. And a swing and a miss. Oh and two. Fly ball down the line. He's got it. And there's two away. Now that the third baseman. Mike Cam. Back to the top of the lineup. Now the third baseman. Grounded out his first time up. Right through there for a strike. The Angels leading by four here in game four of the ALCS. That breaking ball is in for a strike and quickly it is nothing at two. Up the middle. Throws the first in time. That's the third out. Royals bats are quiet there. They're down 4-0. Fourth game of the ALCS. Here's the Royals designated hitter, Nolan Shotwell. Here comes a pitch. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. and she struck him out and one out now. Oh, there's a three-pitch strikeout. She can do whatever she now wants back. with the baseball right now. Shortstop. And here is Bobby Witt Jr. Yeah. Struck out on just three pitches last time. 
That one finds the zone, and it's 0-1. Witt, 24 years old, and he won a gold glove in 2025. Got the back going too soon at strike two. Swings and misses, and there's two away. No, oh, that slider down and away. It's just kind of a slow death. With two strikes, you're looking to protect. And halfway to the plate, you know you've committed, and you know you're going to have no chance of touching it. Tell you what, sometimes you just have to tip your cap. Pasquantino in the box with two gone. And takes a look at a called strike. And that drops in for a strike. All right, there's number eight, one away. Two outs. Swing and a miss, struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. All she's saying, who needs the defense? An immaculate inning, three strikeouts, nine pitches. We just witnessed something really special. The designated hitter. Lee Gow. Guzman. That one down the line. Off balance B. There's one. And that's two. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And to the play for Kansas City. Ready for me. The pitch. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Trap pulls it in for the out. One away. The batter, number three, second baseman, Cody. Cody Clemens steps in for the Royals. Went down on strikes his first time through. Yeah, there's the strike. These hitters are going to have to find a way to be a little more patient, see more pitches per at bat. Otherwise, that bullpen's not going to have to work over there, and it's going to be advantage pitching all game long. Kicks and deals. Swings through that one for strike two. Two. Just missed. It's a good take. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Two away now. Two outs, base is empty. TJ Friedel digs in now. Struck out swinging his first time. And there's the strike. Now this offense has just been locked down. Almost five full innings of shutout baseball. Two down, nobody on. Got it by him for the K. KC down in order. It's 5 nothing. Back here in Kansas City. Well, we go bottom six. Now the left fielder, Tyler Gentry. Guzman back to work. Going one. Well, these Royals just aren't putting together oh, very many good at bats in this one. Just one base runner to this point, and it's not exactly early anymore. They've got players in this lineup capable of sparking something, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. That one close, ruled the ball, and one and one. Oh, 
in the air right field makes a nice running catch and there's one down now back right fielder Nelson and now the right fielder Nelson Velasquez he's over one and that is cut on and missed and that is strike one and a big swing and a miss just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball moving it around doing what she does swings and misses it's a strikeout slider got him for strike three now at 10 K's with still a few innings left so expect her to add on to that total and you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning I mean that's excellent work uh, the way it looks now I mean she's going to have a better rate than that in this one so really good stuff working on the mound in this one number 11 in the box now no balls in a strike swing and a miss and a count is 0 and 2. Got him. And a nice inning of work there as she sets him down. One, two, three. Nothing doing for the Royals. Still looking at that five nothing deficit. Here's some real power at the plate. Michelle Guzman. She's got a couple homers already, so could she possibly do it again? Come on, man. Of course she can. Those two she hit were legit. And she looks pretty locked in right now at the dip. On the ground to the left. And it goes just foul. That smash towards center. Frito brings it in, and that is that. And welcome back to the ballpark. Bottom of the seventh. Now the number two hitter, Nolan Shonwell. And the right hitter back to work. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, no Bird, so I don't think that one will disrupt her momentum all that much. You know, she's really been on top of her game, commanding her pitches all night long. Now, here is Bobby Witt Jr. And first offering is fouled off. The shortstop takes the ball. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hard the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. Ground ball right side could be two. The throw to first and one away in the bottom of the seventh. Now that first baseman, Vinny Vinny Pasquantino, the next to hit. That misses. One and oh. Swings through that one. One and one. To the right side. And he takes it himself for the out. She's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind her with another ground ball. Good execution. Ready for me now at the plate. One for two. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller. Good at framing. But it's that big arm that really stands out. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hit. 
No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And that will end the inning. here at Kauffman Stadium ready to go for the last half of the inning so up now for Kansas City Cody Clemens Guzman back to work pitches in there it's 0-1 on the ground boots it and he's going to make it to first, and we'll see how they score. So up next, T.J. Friedel, who's over for two with a pair of strikeouts. And first offering is fouled off. Well, the leadoff man gets on. You want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground, and they can roll him up for two. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. And it's 0 and 2. At the belt and fires. Got him swinging. Got a pitch to hit right there with two strikes, but just couldn't get a piece. Tell you what, that screwball was so unique and it's so rarely seen. I, I think it can be tough for any hitter. Just to get a piece of it, no matter where it's placed. As a hitter, you're just not used to seeing a pitch moving that way and getting on the same plane as it comes into the hitting zone. And that one is lifted in the air. And there's two down. Throw, and it gets away. So digging in, Nelson Velasquez. Nelson got it started a little too early strike one two outs and that one fouled off pitch and a swing and a miss and that's that eight innings eight zeros as the shutout continues here Angels five and the Royals nothing bottom of the ninth leading off number 11 The wind of the pitch. There's a strike. Swings through that one out in front that time. Swings and misses. Struck him out. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusting herself in this one, Boog. Feeling really good about what she's working with, and that really allows a pitcher to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. Shadowell stands in now and watches strike one. Oh, and two now as he swings through it. Her pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead in the count, at times pitch to contact, but the defense work behind her. That's why she's still in the game here in the ninth inning. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Now only one out remaining. The batter number seven. Shortstop, Bobby Witt Jr.
So they're down to their final out. Bobby Witt Jr. steps in for the Royals. 0 for 3 with two strikeouts and a ground out. Splits the plate. That's strike one. You just don't see it that much anymore. A pitcher being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if she's going to be able to close it out. There's just something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, she's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. Guzma is just one strike away. Got and that is the ball game. Well, this was a huge win for this team. Instead of two and two in the series, they're comfortably now three and one. One more win, and they take the series. Here's another look at the numbers from this shutout victory. Well, it takes a team effort to produce a shutout. I mean, sometimes you just got to tip your cap. 5 nothing the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.